Hello everyone and welcome to the CS1501 um, C++ unit testing demo. To uh, test the C++ code today we're using a framework called Catch2. You can go to the uh, GitHub link that I have in the description of this video and uh, download the zip file of the code. And then once you download it you can um, unzip it onto any directory that's easy for you to find and then open the master folder as well as your project folder and then you'll want to open the single include directory inside the master folder and then the catch2 directory and then you'll want to copy the catch.hpp header file from the catch2 directory and paste it into your project's main folder then you'll want to open uh, your project in um, your IDE of choice today we're using Visual Studio Code so here we have a pre-written bank account class um, which we're using to uh, test the test cases that we have. So in the bank account class we have a constructor which defaults the balance to zero, a deposit method which allows someone to pass in a float value to deposit uh, any amount into their balance, a withdrawal method which will allow someone to uh, pass in a flow value to uh, withdraw any amount from their balance and then a display method which just displays their balance getters, setters, and then the balance variable and then the test cases we wrote using catch2 um, so this just makes it to where you don't have to write um, a main for your test cases and then you want to include your class file and include the uh, catch.hpp file. This just lets you use um, the catch2 test cases. So I wrote three test cases, one that tests the deposit, one that tests the withdrawal, and then one that tests the display. So for the deposit test, I declared a bank account instance. Um, and then deposited ten dollars and then it should return this um, and then for the withdrawal I declared another object of bank account and then withdrew 50 and it should return this and then for the display uh, test I made another instance of bank account and then deposited 50 which should return this withdrew 10 which should return this and then displayed the available balance which should be 40. So to run these test cases you want to build it first and then you can run your code and it'll take a little bit just because uh, the catch to um, framework is sort of slow but it should run but it may take a little bit. Okay, so here you can see we created three instances of bank account, one for each test, and then all the test cases passed. If you wanna see what happens when a test case fails, I can change this value to 40 and rebuild the code, then rerun the code, and it'll show you um, that one of the test cases failed that because this should be 50 will be withdrawn instead of 40 will be withdrawn. Okay, so now we can see um, that one of the test cases failed. We can see that it's the withdrawal test case. And at line 13 it failed. Um, so it says that this should be 50 withdrawn, but it's actually 40. So the test case fails. Um, and we will include this file, the um, project file, and links to all resources for Catch2, and a link to a um, presentation that someone gave on Catch2, as well as a link to download Catch2 
and uh, a link for how to write simple test cases in Catch 2. We'll include all of those in the description. Um, so thank you and have a good day.